so here's the story of how I lost my hermit crab on Saturday. Um, here she is, and we named her Barbosa after the Pirates of the Caribbean character, and then found out she's a girl, so then we changed her name to Barbie. Well, that's her nickname anyway. So I put the crabs out here, um, I put the crab habitat on the table so I could clean it out. And normally I put the crabs in a little plastic aquarium uh, while I clean the big crab habitat. So uh, on this day I decided I'd put them in this trash bin. It's like a little exercise cage for them and um, they can crawl all over it and have fun and be crabs I guess. But I thought, oh they might fall and uh, crack their shell. So I put this towel underneath it, that way if they fell they'd just land on the towel. And I thought that would be a good idea. So then I came over here and I uh, sat down, I started cleaning the tank out, you know, uh, the sand and all, mixed that up. And I only left the crabs for like 10 minutes, but when I looked back over, they had shifted the side over. I think just because it's like really light and uh, they were able to crawl out from under it and yeah it just moves over really easily so that's how they got out and one was there and I saw it while I was cleaning and that's how I noticed the other one was right there so they weren't that far away from the tank so I thought okay so I just like picked them up threw them back in there and um, that was only two of them, and I have three crabs, so I start looking around all over the place for this third crab, and um, I looked in the gutter, I looked really good in there, couldn't find it there, I moved the rain barrel, couldn't find it, looked all over the lanai, still couldn't find it, and uh, like ten minutes went by and I couldn't find it, so we looked in the pool then, it wasn't in the pool. Then I came over here and looked under all my shells, because I had all the shells out, uh, thinking maybe he crawled under there, but he didn't. And um, we, I had Garrett come out and help me, and Grant, and we looked all through here. We took apart everything, and like the shelves, all of it, it just came all out, and we searched everywhere for like half an hour in the whole Lanai area. And it just, it was not there. We looked everywhere. Uh, every little single space the hermit crab could hide. So I thought maybe he got out. And so I looked like along the base here and sure enough we have holes in our lanai like that one. But even like if he went farther down, there's this hole, like the whole bottom's pulled out and he could have easily pushed that out and got out of there. And so I'm like, okay, if we got outside, I gotta look out there. So we went outside. There goes Remy. Uh, we went outside, and I was looking and looking and looking. I pulled these weeds out to try and find them. And I was out here on the lanai and outside for like two to three hours looking for the hermit crab. Couldn't find it anywhere. But I thought maybe he got out into the neighbor's yard. Like, how far do hermit crabs go? Like, would he come out here and stop and hide under the leaves and stuff? Or would he just keep crawling for miles and miles? I don't know what a hermit crab would do. So, I kind of gave up for then and then came back out at like 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock. And... Yeah, I couldn't find it, and now it's been three days later, still haven't seen it, so I think it's gone. It must have got out, and uh, it's gone. So maybe at some point I will get another hermit crab, um, just because I'm down to two now, and I would like to have three in case one molts. Um, and if I do, I will keep you updated, and I will videotape that process. And um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.